Hello, I'm Michael Wool, and in this course we're going to cover all the essential elements of the job of location sound mixer, sometimes called sound recordist. Now, I don't want to overstate it, but sound is hugely important in making your movie successful. George Lucas famously said, sound is half the picture, but I think he was underestimating a bit. Sound is easily two-thirds of the picture. The dialogue, narration, or voiceover that provide most of the information and details of the story, those are sound elements. A music contributes a huge amount to the emotional experience of watching a movie. And the rest of it, sound design and ambiences and those perfectly timed sound effects, all that stuff that mostly goes unnoticed by your conscious mind, that's what makes the film watching experience so immersive. In fact, you know, as an assignment, I often ask my editing students to watch their favorite movie with the sound turned off. Because when you do that, you begin to see all the edits and the other visual information that makes up the film without getting immersed in the story. Try it sometime, then turn the sound back on. You'll see your brain can't help but get swept up in the story again, making it that much harder to see what the editor's done to construct the scenes. Put another way, if seeing is believing, hearing is feeling. The picture carries the factual, analytical, cold reality of the story at hand, but it's the sound that moves you, that makes your heart swell and burst. It's those sound effects that make a horror movie scary and that make science fiction fill you with awe and amazement. It's the sound of the orcs on the battlefield that bring Middle Earth to life, and it's Gollum's gravelly, plaintive, desperate voice that you'll never forget, no matter how long it's been since you last watched Peter Jackson's epics. The other proof of the importance, dare I say dominance, of sound over picture is evident if you just watch an hour or two of YouTube. Videos that are terribly shot, out of focus, poorly framed, handheld and shaky beyond all recognition, those videos with bad video, they're watchable as long as they have good sound. But take a video with bad sound, with distortion or static or too much echo or inconsistent volume, those dogs, those are truly unwatchable. No one's going to sit through them. It's like you can close your eyes and avert your gaze, but you can't close your ears. So all of this is to say that when making movies, good sound is essential. And it's one of your most versatile and powerful storytelling tools. Unfortunately, it does take some real skill to record sound well, and despite a ton of powerful software tools available in post, there's still absolutely no substitute for sound that's properly recorded in the field. In fact, it's somewhat of a running joke in the independent film world that it's the sound recordist who's the only crew member that always gets paid. Everyone else can usually be convinced to work for free, at least occasionally. But real filmmakers know how essential good sound is, and they're always willing to pay a little bit, at least a little bit, for a competent sound mixer. So it may be true that of all the courses in this series, if you want to guarantee that you can make some money working in film, this is the one to study. Don't become a cinematographer. Too many of your colleagues will be willing to work for free to build up their reel and they'll bring the market down. And don't become an editor. There's way too many fish in that pond. Definitely don't become a director. And producing, well, that's hit or miss. But if you're a great sound mixer, you'll always have steady work.